Forget about acquisition. Acquisition is tertiary. The primary goal of lifting. Use it quickly. Oh, fire! Be Let your mind be Holy God's fire! I want to show you something right now that will bless you. Are you ready? So the Bible says, the sons of Issachar possess two qualities that we need to receive tonight. That is the key to maximizing seasons. Number one is the faculty to discern times. Number two, the ability to know what to do. Two things. John chapter 5. Let's go to John chapter 5. Malisa prakatos kadina kaparia katosh. John 5, beginning from verse 1. Please pay attention. This is where the key is now. After this, there was a feast of the Jews. Listen carefully. And Jesus went up unto Jerusalem. Reading to verse 9. Please be patient. It says, Now there is at Jerusalem by the sheep market a pool which is called in the Hebrew tongue Bethesda having five porches what happened there in this lay a great multitude of important folk blind halt withered waiting waiting that was all they did there waiting whoever told you waiting is a waste of time waiting is the skill of the mighty they know that you do not strike every time ask a general in the army if you want to know how to win war you must not only master the art of fighting you must know how to wait watch how the lion the lion is called the king of the jungle but the lion does not strike every time a lion can wait for five hours allowing a head to relax that is the price for the catch. That is the price for that title. Please go back to that scripture. The Bible says, the moment you find out you are incapacitated, the first thing you should do is to wait. There are many people who move while they are failing. When, if you drive on 150 in the wrong direction, you are only prolonging your pain. When you, someone tells you, I am at so, so, so place, you will tell the person if you want to help him and reduce sorrow you will say wait there i am coming to help you if the person keeps moving while you are going there he's only prolonging his time for someone here god sent me to tell you wait you have been roaming around it is clear that your your ideas are not working man of god it is clear that your approach to ministry is not working it is not more ministrations you need it is not more name you need you need to lock yourself and wait businessman is not traveling from paris to uk to america no it is vain to wake up in the morning and to sleep late at night only to eat the bread of sorrow this is a prophetic word for someone we live in a generation where we pride in rushing there is a difference between speed and rushing speed is always a product of waiting God gives men speed, but he does not rush men. To rush means to disrespect season. When God gives you speed, is to maximize season. There is a difference between rushing. Hallelujah. We live in a world where people will see the results of many years of a man and want to just claim it overnight. God gives speed, but I repeat, precious people of God, there are certain things that only happen at the sequence of times and seasons. It's why many people today are getting into all kinds of things because in as much as they want to, they think they want to have it fast. And don't get me wrong, God gives speed. But there are certain things you cannot rush. A pregnant woman cannot rush the arrival of her child. It's been programmed already. When you give birth to a child that is not in the season, it's not called delivery. There is another name for it. Politician, this is a prophetic word for you. Wait. Man of God, 
the secret to your maximizing the next one year wait businessman as much as god has vowed and promised increase for you the prophetic word that god is giving you tonight is wait let's go back to john 4 so we tie it john 5 please the bible says impotent folks they were aware that they were incapacitated and did not have the power to help them they respected and honored the season by waiting they were waiting for the moving of the water it was the water that was moving but them they had to wait verse 5 my story begins now and a certain man was there which had an infirmity 30 and 8 years somebody say long standing issue one more time say long standing issue it is amazing that as powerful as time is time does not change anything time only reveals one day go better is absolute nonsense no the passage of time is not what changes things maximizing seasons is what changes things i am sure that after two years of lying down there the man said by the third year i'll be fine not knowing that it was 38 if jesus did not come to rescue this man 38 would have become 50. is someone learning now the bible says when jesus saw him remember he was not the only one there but something oh this is the thing about jesus this is the thing about jesus the bible says the lord is gracious and compassionate he's slow to anger and rich in love that no matter how a man messes up seasons when jesus sees you he does not even talk about the seasons wasted adumbrated in the story of the prodigal son the prodigal son wasted his seasons and the bible says he came to himself and he said how many hired servants as my father and i am here feeding with the swine he said i will arise and i will go to my father and i will say father i have sinned against you and against heaven i am not worthy to be called your son take me as one of your servants the bible says while he was afar off as soon as the father met him there was no discussion about wasted seasons the father restored the signet ring put a robe of honor and took him to the home for a feast for someone here i want you to know that in as much as God honors seasons he's still a merciful God he is Lord over seasons and it is still not too late apostle like God born again at 50 how long will it take me to know the Holy Spirit to build a relationship find strength the Lord of the season is your God as powerful as seasons are they submit to the God of the Bible that means you shouldn't be surprised that although you are here a tenant by December you are still in a house God will give you a house that you did not build and people will say no 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 I, I, I thought we, we we concluded that your life is already wasted and you will say I came to a conference and I found out if you do not understand all of these things you cannot understand the mystery of Jubilee <laughs> Jubilee is not the name of a season it's an event that happens within a season are we together let's finish this let me walk with time please back to John 5 the Bible says and Jesus saw him lie and knew that he had been now there now a long time and he said unto him will thou be made whole in other words based on my design of times and seasons you shouldn't be here many seasons have come and given you an opportunity to rise could you not discern them and the important man said sir my excuse is i have no man when the water is troubled that means i have gone so far to know the season but i did not know that to help me make the action it says to put me in the pool but while I am coming, another step it down before me. Jesus said unto him, let me show you that I have authority over seasons. This is not the time for you to rise. But the Lord of the season says, rise. This is Jubilee. Right there. Because you will see 
that there is jubilee that happens after seven sabbaths but there is jubilee personified in a person every time jesus comes it is your season his presence can reprogram jubilee any day any time oh the overwhelming never ending reckless love of god oh he chases me down fights till i'm found leaves the 99 i couldn't earn it and i don't deserve it still you give yourself away oh the overwhelming never ending reckless love hallelujah is someone learning so john chapter 5 reveals to us that no matter how long a situation is once you know how to wait there are two ways to receive a miracle based on john chapter 5 number one is to wait for seasons and take the required action number two is to look for jesus if for any reason you miss out in seasons you don't wait until seasons come again because sometimes it takes a long time for it to come you have to look for jesus jesus is the reprogrammer of seasons do you believe what i'm sharing with you if that man waited there he would have multiplied his pain jesus taught us two lessons one that the best way for a man to maximize seasons in his life is number one to be able to know that god built this system based on the law of times and seasons and you must sustain the discernment the faculty to understand seasons in your life are we together now and then to know the required action to take there are some of you for instance your destiny helper was in power for many years he would not be there forever within that time you had unusual access it was a season but you used this honor to prolong your pain and that season finished you discovered you were supposed to use honor to have access but at that time the person is no longer there there are some of you there was a season where your parents were alive you would have sought them and received their blessing but you were occupied trying to make money and you never got the blessing and now sadly they've passed just when they pass, you now understood the power of patriarchal blessing. And you're saying, Apostle, now that my father is gone, is there a way that God can help me? I will tell you shortly. The Bible says there is hope for a tree. That even if it be cut short at the scent of water. Forget about acquisition. Acquisition is tertiary. The primary goal of lifting use it quickly oh fire. Be concentrated. let your mind be holy god's fire